Welcome to Gen X Mindscape, the podcast dedicated to exploring the complexities of midlife and the pursuit of a purposeful life. I'm your host and fellow Gen Xer Kyle, here to accompany you on this journey. In our previous episode, we explored the multifaceted concept of identity, peeling back its layers to better understand ourselves. Today, we shift our attention to what is often one of the bigger pieces of our personal identity puzzle, the vital role relationships play in shaping our sense of self. Our relational identity is a cornerstone of our sense of self, shaping our lives in profound ways, especially in midlife. The roles we assume in our relationships take on added significance as we navigate the complexities of this midlife phase. Whether it's as a spouse, a parent, partner, person on a date, friend, or caregiver, Our relational roles and connections contribute to the intricate mosaic of our identity, adding depth and meaning to our lives. As Gen Xers, we've grown up in a time of rapid societal changes, and our relationships reflect the values, beliefs, and priorities that have shaped our journey. In midlife, we seek authentic connections that align with our evolving sense of self, prioritizing emotional fulfillment, mutual support, and personal growth. In midlife, relationships can bring both opportunities and challenges. As we grow and evolve, our dynamics with others may undergo transformations. We may find ourselves redefining the roles we play, renegotiating boundaries, or seeking new connections that align with our changing needs and values. The relationships we cultivate in midlife can provide a source of support, joy, and companionship, offering us a space for us to express our authentic selves and find fulfillment. We also understand that navigating relationships in midlife can be complex and challenging, and some of these relationships may bring difficulties that impact our sense of self. In midlife, it's not uncommon for Gen X individuals to find themselves grappling with societal expectations and the self-imposed shoulds of maintaining certain relationships. However, it's essential to remember that as we navigate our midlife relationships, It's okay to reassess and realign our priorities based on what truly nourishes and uplifts us. It's a time to give ourselves permission to prioritize healthy connections and be true to ourselves, even if it means redefining or letting go of relationships that no longer contribute positively to our well-being. Relationships encompass a vast range of experiences, and each individual's journey with relational identity is unique. Admittedly, this episode can only provide a starting point for reflection on cultivating healthy relational identity that aligns with your authentic self. We recognize that the complexity of relationships means that there are countless variations of fulfilling, challenging, and nuanced situations. Our aim is to encourage reflection and give resources as you navigate the intricacies of relational identity and find the right mix that resonates with your individual path. As we wrap up this episode on relationships and self-identity, I invite you to take a moment for reflection. Consider the following questions. What values and qualities do you seek in your relationships? How do your connections align with your evolving sense of self? Are there any adjustments you'd like to make in your relational roles or boundaries? Cultivating a healthy relational identity is an ongoing journey. It's about fostering connections that uplift and support you while staying true to yourself. Take small steps towards nurturing the relationships that bring positivity and growth into your life. Whether it's setting clear boundaries, engaging in open and honest communication, or seeking new connections that align with your values, every action you take can contribute to the development of a fulfilling relational identity. Embrace the power to choose who you allow in your inner circle and prioritize the relationships that align with your values and contribute to your personal growth. Well, I just want to conclude by saying thanks so much for listening and supporting our little baby indie podcast. (laughs) In our next episode, we're going to draw from the world of cognitive psychology to dive into common mind traps that can hinder our midlife relationships. I'm really looking forward to sharing these with you. And if you're finding the show helpful, I'd be so grateful if you would just share it with someone you know or even leave us a review. So until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and stay true to yourself. Hey there, listeners. I just wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude for listening to this podcast. 
Your support and feedback keep me motivated to continue growing and crafting episodes that are meaningful and helpful for you on your journey. That's why I'm inviting you to join our Gen X Mindscape community page on Facebook. It's a great space to share your feedback on the show, suggest future episode topics, or simply connect with fellow listeners. Also, don't hesitate to leave me a voice message over at genxmindscape.com by clicking on leave a voice message at the top of the page. Whether you choose to remain anonymous or provide your name and email, it's entirely up to you. Once again, thanks so much for listening. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing from you.